My name is Alif Bland. I play for the Bristol Flyers. My position is power forward center. I'm from New York, Albany, New York, to be exact, in the hey, United States. Let me take you back to 2010. First time your boy Ken Dunn picked up the pen. I was 10, maybe. <laughs> nah, you're not gonna give my middle name. Uh, <laughs> Doug Henry, uh, Jr., which some people like to add, but uh, I typically don't. Um, first the flyers and guard. I can see through three eyes. Hey, yo, you need to realize they watch watching what you do, but not using real eyes. I don't mean to surprise. I'm one of their imports, so that's the reason why I moved all the way over here. Started out last year in Canada, and um, trying to look to get into like Germany and things of that nature. So this was a better platform for me to, to make the next step and achieve my goals. It's great opportunity to play overseas, to play professional basketball, you know, to actually do something I love and get paid for it. Actually, I didn't even play basketball when I was younger. Um, I was I played more football and um, I ran track, so those were my sports. But um, then when I was in grade 11, I want to say, I started playing basketball seriously and uh, then I went to college. I never had an ambition to play overseas professionally. Um, it just sort of happened. It's actually easier to come here from America than to go to Europe. Like when I went to Germany, it was a complete culture shock just because of the, the language barrier and just a lot of the things that they do is different than America. I feel like England is more of a, a middle ground between America and Europe. It has a lot of different, like same similar things as America and as Europe. Honestly, I mean, every when you play basketball as a kid, like elementary, middle school, everybody's dream is to be in the NBA. So, you know, I, I thought I had a chance for a while until I got to high school and I realized that it's probably out of my reach. Um, figured I'd go to college, get my degree, and, you know, find a career from there. Um, when I actually got to college, I figured, you know, overseas was a viable option. And, you know, that was pretty much my goal. My coach had actually played over here in England. When I got to school, I found that out. So I figured I'd be pretty good to get here as soon as I left school. And then he quit my junior year, which kind of mm -hmm. ruined my plans for a few years. So it yeah. made my road a little harder. I was already used to moving because um, since university, I was away from home. So uh, I've been away from home for a long time now, so it's not like I've been at home this whole time and then I just up and left. So it was already, I was already used to being on my own and um, I'm an adventurous type of guy, so I, I don't mind you know, going to different places and seeing different things. I wanted to explore anyway, so this was the best way. Typically overseas, if you, you, know, you make a, a decent name for yourself, find a good club and keep a good rapport, you can play about 35, 36 before you really have to retire. Um, so that's really what, what my goal is. I figure I got at least six to 10 years left to really play basketball um, and make enough money to really decide what I want to do with myself when I'm done. Um, Somewhere in that range, I'm gonna try and go back to school, get my master's, and then uh, move down south when I go back home. I'm just going through what I can and um, you know getting a feel out of it. Uh, this is only my third year playing overseas, so um, I don't really have a, a long-term goal playing. I just I'm trying to find a spot where that would be best for me. head coach of the Bristol Flyers BBL team. They're great guys, first of all. You know, they've fitted very well uh, into the team system. Uh, very good characters, and our team chemistry was strong before they came. I think it has actually even helped to, to make it even stronger, in fact. And, you know, fr fresh, uh, Doug Herring is a, is a very good leader. He talks to the team, and he talks to players, and he tries to make them uh, better. And uh, I leave Grant, 
has experience in Germany and he's played in this league before that we're in. So um, both of them are very uh, willing to help the younger players, but also the other players that maybe have not experienced that level of basketball and get better. So they have really helped uh, the chemistry of the team. My name is Greg Street, I'm from Bristol and my position is shot guard. Over 10 years, over 10 years for the Flyers themselves. Uh, back when they were Bristol Academy Flyers, and also even before that when they were Bristol Bombers as well, I was still part of the organization. Because I've been in the uh, organization for so long, for the longest we didn't have any American imports, it was all British players, uh, some local, the majority were local, but then as soon as we started going up the leagues and we started seeing Americans and oppositions and also in our own organization, the game did start to change, it was more of an up tempo, they brought a lot of experience as well as a lot of like, athletic ability. A lot of them were playing for such a young age so they really the game comes second nature to them whereas guys over here tend to start off with football, rugby, cricket, them kind of game sports first so they definitely have it, a natural ability to play the game. Family is my main inspiration um, but one of my, my goals is to be successful and um, so it's doing something I love so it, it makes me inspired to want to be the best I can be at what I'm actually doing, you know. And you should help each other, okay? Hey, Dave, stay down. I've got you. I've got you. And both of you start sitting down. Back down. I have my daughter back home, so that's that's a big uh, change, always leaving her. But, um, you know, I just look towards the long-term goal, and uh, I talk to her every day through, like, FaceTime or Skype. So it's not like I'm not absent completely, but it's it's tough not being with my family, you know. I was already used to moving because um, since university, I was away from home. So I, I've been away from home for a long time now, so it's not like I've been at home this whole time, and then I just up and left. So it was already, I was already used to being on my own, and, um, I'm an adventurous type of guy, so I I don't mind you know going to different places and seeing different things. I wanted to explore anyway, so this was the best way. Everyone in my family is proud, and you know they they've all supported me from my kids to uh, my girlfriend, my parents, my brothers and sisters. They've all uh, they've always supported me in trying to. Um, to get to where I am and even further, so. How many kids do you have? I got two. My daughter is six. My son will be three in May. <laughs>